Greetings and welcome to another video and today we're going to be seeing if this iPod classic that I found in a bin that was going to get thrown out works. Let's get into it. When I found the iPod, the back was covered with some sort of grime and the whole iPod was very sticky. When I got it home, I sprayed some Fantastic on a paper towel, and whatever substance was on there rubbed right off. There was one problem, though. I didn't have a 30-pin connector, so I had to go out to Target and buy one. Originally, it seemed like the iPod was completely dead, but when I plugged it into the wall for the first time, it lit right up and said that it needed power. So I let this sit for about a half hour, and I came back to it, and it seemed to have charged a little bit. But when I started to use the iPod to see if there was anything on it, it would die again. It would recharge, then die. This process went on for about two hours until eventually it just started to take a charge, and it charged to 100%. When I tried to sync the iPod to iTunes, I noticed that the 30-pin dock connector on the bottom was badly damaged. There was pins bent and even part of the connector missing, which would explain why it would not constantly take a charge, as well as why it would not sync to Later iTunes. Now, I was on vacation and all that, so, um, yeah, going around the device, it's in pretty good shape. The screen is doesn't have any scratches on it. The click wheel does show signs of use. Uh, you can kind of see it in the video, um, but it does work. Um, it is dead, unfortunately. Um, the adapter we sold, we got from Target, got returned because I thought it was a charge cable, not a charge and sync cable. So we have an official Apple one, and it doesn't work. So really, what else is new there? Um, back, fingerprint magnet. Um... Other than that, minor scratches, really. You know, I mean, I've seen worse. Uh, but yeah, this is a 160 gig, um, 7th generation. Um, and I can confirm that it works. It just will not sync to iTunes. So that will require a new motherboard, which finding a working one on eBay is about $70. So hopefully... In a couple of weeks, I will order one, and we can make a follow-up of cracking this open and getting it to sync with iTunes finally. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and if you want to see part two to this, um, do you mind? That almost fell over. Um, if you want to see part two to this video, um, please leave a comment down below. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.